Joe Camposano, Camposano Marine, answering your questions on boat and yachts in a minute or two. Uh, today we had a question from one of our clients, a longtime client, who had, uh, hey Joe, what's the difference between a insurance survey and a regular survey? Um, the short answer is there's really a small difference. Uh, a lot of uh, surveyors like the insurance survey for one particular reason they get to uh, they don't have to do a sea trial they don't have to do a full engine report they can do the specs on the survey but they don't have to actually physically have the engines run it should be done frankly uh, but they don't have to uh, insurance companies want to see a condition evaluation survey that's basically what a survey is it's a condition and valuation report that the insurance companies will use as frankly gospel um, because uh, I find they don't believe you or me uh, when it comes to the application process. So a survey lets them uh, sleep at night. So it's kind of similar to uh, if you take a home inspection, uh, you want a third party looking at the boat as you do a home. So the survey is critical, important. Frankly, a survey should be done uh, anything over 27 to 30 foot. I would probably have a survey done every five to seven years. Things change on a boat and uh, rates change. So and if you're gonna move from insurance company to insurance company, like we have you know, 20 something companies in our office. If, we can, if one company has a rate increase and we wanna move you, it's nice to have a recent survey. Uh, many of the companies will ask for a recent survey and define that as about two to three years old. So you have to be careful when you want to make your move on a boat that's over 27 foot. Remember, 27 foot and up, many carriers, if not all, most, call that a yacht. And once it's a yacht, the survey comes into play. Depends on the company. Everybody has little different rules as far as when they will accept the survey, when they won't. Uh, how old the survey they'll accept depends upon the relationship that uh, the insurance agency like we have with the underwriters. Uh, we have really good relationships. We work, we work very closely with our companies. And so we, we always uh, know pretty much if uh, they'll accept a current or a three-year-old survey for argument's sake. Uh, but I do recommend it. So when you do, if you only need an insurance survey, it's usually a hauled survey. Uh, it's usually done without a sea trial and it is not always done with mechanical inspections, so where they are running the units. I highly recommend when you get a survey, make sure they run the units. You can run them on the, on the hard, you don't need to be dropping it in the water. Uh, when you buy a boat, definitely bring your surveyor out. If it's a new boat to you, gotta do a sea trial. I don't care what size boat it is, you should definitely do a sea trial. If you have any other questions, uh, today's uh, vlog was pretty straightforward, but I get a lot of calls on this. So give me a call, 732-892-8826, or go to campusantamarine.com. Lots of information there. There's some uh, great links. And uh, again, reach out to us if you have any questions. Hope everybody stays well and be safe.